So let's check out the Pitch Oscillator tab inside Sampler. So I'm going to load a loop here, electric piano loop from the Drive and Glow pack. Let's listen to that. Let's drag it inside Sampler. Let's go to the Pitch and Oscillator tab. So here we have two main sections. First, we have the modulation oscillator that can do FM or AM, and we have a pitch envelope, and we also have the global tuning section. So first, let's start with the oscillator. Let's turn it on. This is a modulation oscillator, so essentially a extremely fast LFO or an oscillator that can modulate in audio rates. Here we can switch between frequency modulation and amplitude modulation. So changing the pitch extremely fast or changing the volume extremely fast. Uh, so let's start with the FM. By default, it won't do anything. We will have to turn up the volume. Here we can choose the course uh, or the, if you go one up or one down is the is the octave, and after that, it's the harmonic series. Very common in FM. Here we can fine tune the modulation oscillator. And we can even turn off the pitch tracking, so it's a fixed frequency. Doesn't matter what note I hit, we always have the same modulation, and you can change the frequency from here. And you can also multiply the frequency. You can change the different uh, waveforms. All of them are taken very similarly to the operator. We get all the saw waves with the different harmonics to a full saw wave, all the square waves with the different amount of a harmonics, and the full square wave, triangle, and noise. So let's, for example, choose noise. Now we can hear some noises being added. Here we have the envelope that will decide uh, how the oscillator is being triggered over time. So we can change the initial state of it. Attack. Decay. Here's the peak of the attack. Release. Sustain. What's the end value when it's releasing? We can also loop the envelope. So let's check this out. I'm going to bring it back down here. So we can loop it in a few different ways. First, we can just loop it. So it's uh, ignoring, uh, it's just looping at the end of the decay. We can loop it according to a bit division. This is unsynchronized, but you can also uh, loop it by bit division synchronized to your project if the project is playing. And we can also trigger it, which will ignore how long we actually hold the note uh, and just let the envelope go through. This is good in uh, for drums and percussive material. And we can also have the velocity affect how long the envelope is. So if I hit it very uh, softly, you can hear a lot of envelope, a lot of that noise. If I hit it more strongly, we have it less. We can also invert it. So now if I hit it strong, or if I hit it soft, the time reacts to velocity. And here we can also add that the volume of the modulation oscillator reacts to velocity. Nice. So let's go and uh, maybe do AM, amplitude modulation. Let's bring the decay. Let's turn it down. Now we can have some noise texture being added to our chords. Excellent. Let's turn this off. Next, we have the pitch envelope. And the pitch envelope is another envelope that can affect the pitch. So first of all, we can decide how much, how much semitones is the range of this envelope. Let's, for example, go with like seven. Now we have the attack. So it's first going up to seven and then going back down to zero. We can have the initial state. So when the, where does it actually start? So maybe we can have it start at seven. The decay, how long does it take to go back down 
to zero. Where is the peak? The actual attack, the end of the attack. Sustain. The end, that's the release stage. Where does it uh, end there? And if you want to hear that, we do need to bring up the release in the volume envelope. The release time. And we can loop it the same way we loop the modulation oscillator. Here we can also uh, have velocity affect the time. So it's going to happen much faster or much slower if you uh, play different velocities. So that's the pitch envelope can create really cool uh, pitch effects here, pitch movement. For your sample. Let's turn this off. Next we have the tuning section. Here you can spread it and then it's going to double the sampler into two, two detuned voices uh, and generate um, two detuned voices that are going to spread, uh, be pr spread across the stereo field so it sounds a bit wider. Here is the global transpose. Detune. We can shift the different pitch in the zones, uh, which we'll talk about in another video where we cover multi-samples uh, and using the zone tab uh, in sampler. And here we can add glide, there's two different types. We have portamento. Portamento, uh, here is the timing of the glide. And portamento works on uh, polyphonic, so you can play multiple notes at a time. And every time you uh, trigger a note, it will also reset the sample from the beginning. So let's see it here, resetting the sample. Now we do need to have two notes overlapping in order to hear this glide. So if notes are not overlapping, they're not going to glide. Let me take back down the release here. But if they're overlapping, we can hear that gliding. But as you notice, the sample starts from the beginning every time with each new note. Let's bring up the time a tiny bit so it's more obvious. Let's go to glide. Glide will make everything monophonic, only one note at a time, and it will continue the sample from where it was. So uh, again, notes needs to be overlapped here. Only one note at a time, and it's continuing the sample. So that's the pitch and oscillator tab um, with the modulation oscillator, pitch envelope, and the global tuning session section that uh, give you access to the glide and portamento.